In one of his recent talks, Evan Yu, the creator of Vue.js, pointed out a common topic in the software development. There are no silver bullets. He explained how developers have different backgrounds, different sets of skills, and different preferences. They have to solve a multitude of problems, developing for various devices, environments, different UX. Evan celebrated the diversity in frameworks, showing how they push each other to innovate and evolve. However, lately it feels like popular frameworks are beginning to converge on a shared set of tools and paradigms. Let's look at how frameworks are evolving across some key concepts. Reactivity. What better place to start with than reactivity? This has been the hot topic of 2023 and continues to attract attention. This topic has been the most uniting as creators of almost all major frameworks gather together to discuss the proposal to adopt signals as part of ECMAScript. It looks like not only Svelte has retaught reactivity all over again, but also Angular is moving to signals. Solid was the first modern framework to revisit the idea and build on top of it. Ranker Niato, the creator of Solid, giving numerous talks and writing as many articles on the topic, pushed the idea forward. Quick also joined the party, skipping all other options and going straight to signals as well. So it looks like fine-grained reactivity brings the best of both UX and DX worlds together and being adopted by virtually everyone, except React. However, React are the last to stay stale and plan another improvement in their future release. Which brings us to the next concept, template engines. Inspired by projects like Inferno and Million.js, React is shifting towards compiled templates. Compilation enables code analysis and optimizations which can potentially reduce bundle size and enhance performance. That's why Inferno creator Dominic Ganaway joined React and crafted hooks in order to make compilation more plausible, which in hindsight looks like the most genius marketing decision of all time. Enticing developers to use function components together with hooks because class components are really tough to compile. Solid and Quick are also doing compiled JSX from the get-go. On the other hand, Svelte and Angular compiled custom templates and continue to do so. Vue sits in the middle with HTML compatible templates that also get compiled. So regarding templates, compilation seems to be the agreement. JSX is the most popular choice, however Svelte has a very appealing take on custom templating. Despite lagging on reactivity and compilation, React also lags on rendering. Just kidding. React provokes its community yet again with the introduction of server components. It seems like the battle to improve SPA's loading performance is never ending. From SSR with destructive hydration, to reconciliation, to partial hydration, to server components, to resumability. It looks like Quick has come with a solution to the problem omitting hydration altogether. Everyone else is catching up with ways to execute as little code on the client as possible, which seems to be another common agreement and goal. Angular is the one furthest behind, but catching up, promising partial hydration by the end of the year. Another concept that Angular walks behind seems to be routing. Routing. Although its dynamic component-based router is very powerful and configurable, it seems like it's not the most popular choice. However, thanks to Analog.js, Angular joins everyone else on the file system-based routing approach. Solid is also catching up with its meta framework, Solid Start. Final concept that unites everyone is build tools. Build tools. Here everyone jumps on whatever is most fastest and minimal, which today seems to be VIT. Going through five of the key concepts that the framework supports, it looks like all frameworks are starting to converge. It seems like the quest for web framework innovation finds itself, perhaps temporarily, in a period of refinement rather than radical revolution. Frameworks are not just becoming more performant, but also more alike. While convergence provides a measure of comfort and standardization for developers, a lingering question arises. Are we reaching a plateau for drastically new solutions in web application development?